Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. I received this email on October 16th, so as of this recording, five days ago. I just want to walk you through what this is, just so that you're aware, so you can make your own decisions about what to do with your QuickBooks account. I don't know anything more than what you see here, so I can try to answer questions, but I may not be that useful. The email subject line says, option to pay online on invoices with payments turned off. So really it's saying, hey, starting on October 21st, which is today for me as I'm recording this, um, Intuit or QuickBooks is going to gradually roll out a feature that gives payers, your clients, the option of paying an invoice via ACH if there are no other payment options available. If you send an invoice to your client and you have a payments account, like a merchant account with QuickBooks Online, if the invoice doesn't have uh, one of the options turned on for people to pay the invoice, QuickBooks is going to go ahead and let people pay that invoice electronically anyhow. What I'm reading this to mean is that if you have QuickBooks Online set up, you have a merchant account set up, and you're choosing to not let your client or not send an invoice with payments turned on, Intuit's going to still let your clients pay electronically. So if you're saying, I'm going to send you an invoice, you mail me a check, they could possibly pay uh, via ACH, and then the money will show up in your bank account um, five days later. I think the five days is likely five business days. Um, I don't know that for sure. I just know ACH sometimes takes a hot minute. So let me just show you. Um, it says for full details, refer to this article. Let's go ahead and grab that. So here's the article and, and it says step one is make sure you have an act active payments account. I'll show you how to find that in a second. Create an invoice, get paid. This isn't really an article of, of how it works or how the new system works. This is an article that says, here's how you can let your customers pay by ACH with a convenience fee. So let's navigate over to QuickBooks. All right, so when you're in your QuickBooks, you'll go to the gear, you'll go to account and settings, you'll go to payments on the left. When you get to this, if you see the button for manage account, not for sign up, it means that you have a QuickBooks online payments account set up. So in this case, we're looking at my QuickBooks. If I were to send an invoice and if I didn't have payments enabled, QuickBooks will helpfully enable it for me. Let me show you what that looks like to enable or not enable payments. When I go to send an invoice, I'll go to invoice. When I go to send, like uh, create this invoice, if I disable these on the right, this is where I'm talking about if you have payments enabled or disabled. So if I have it disabled, it seems to me based on the email that Intuit is just going to offer it to clients anyhow. So the purpose of my video is just to let you know about something like how do you know if you have it and how do you know if you have payments enabled or disabled? If you have any feelings about this, I encourage you to reach out to Intuit directly. I'm just making a quick video so that if you're struggling to know if it applies to you, this is how you can know. All right. Thanks. Thanks.